Today I'm going to unbox the Little Bits Premium Kit. It was received courtesy of the Little Bits Kit for the purpose of reviewing it. Um, so we'll start with the outside of the box. Uh, as I said, this is the Little Bits Premium Kit. It has uh, 14 bits modules and there's over 600,000 circuit combinations, 10 projects in the box, and hundreds of projects online. Um, and then the other features that it notes are circuits and seconds, build your own projects that move and light up, and a 9 volt battery is included. And it's intended for ages 8 to infinity. So the box, the side of the box also um, shows the contents, which is the power, roller switch, sound trigger, I won't go through all of them, but it does show everything that's included and identifies it as a premium kit. And then the back of the box says, uh, kind of explains what to do with it, which is good because I'm not familiar with this product. So it says, take the bits modules in this kit. Yes, battery and cable are included. Add craft supplies, household items, other toys or building sets. Um, so it looks like you can use, um, looks like those might be connects or also glue and paper clips, rubber bands, scissors, cups, some tools, uh, Legos. And then it says to create these electronic projects and more. So you can create a little piggy bank, a box monster, a bubble flute, a glow it. So and then your creativity brought to life by little bits. And then the ends of the box say circuits and seconds and littlebits.cc to find projects, tips and tricks, and upload your creations. Here, um, shows Little Bits products, have won those awards, and it was seen on TED, so that's pretty cool. So you can see here that I haven't opened this box at all. So now I'm just going to slice it open. And inside the box, is a booklet. So there's a 30 second quick start here. It says connect battery and cable to blue module, turn it on, pink modules affect module, modules after them. Green modules do something. Let's go. So it just shows that you could just make this connection I think right away and see what happens. So then it says make something that does something. And then we can see the little bits basics, circuits and seconds. They're color coded. You always need a blue and green. Pink and orange are optional in between. Um, order is important. Magnet magic. They snap together with magnets. And little bits plus anything. Little bits are just the beginning. Combine them with craft materials, building sets, and other toys to electrify your life. We'll show you how. No soldering, no programming, and no writing. So then we have know your bits modules. This is the premium kit version one. Learn more and shop for individual bits modules at littlebits.cc slash bits. And there will be a link to that um, in either right on the screen right now, or you can just look below at the description and there will be a link. It says it all starts with power, nine volt battery and cable included. Turn it on and off right here. So that's a switch. And the power, this power module lets you use a nine volt battery to supply electricity to your little bits. Snap in the battery plus the cable, both are included, and flip the switch to turn it on. And then it has, then it just explains every single piece that comes in here, which is really cool. So um, after that, it has try these circuits. Get started with these, but don't let us hold you back. Every module fits with every other module. Feel free to experiment. And the writing is pretty small here. But don't forget the juice. Connect your cable and nine volt battery. So there's personal fan, chill out and feel the breeze. Turn me on, slide it, fan. Okay, so what else is in the book is intruder alert, some other circuits you can make. There's some projects like a fun cooling campfire and this is where you um, add more of your own materials. Like this one is tissue paper, scissors and tape. This one also needs markers and paper an auto greeter, a truck crane, a funny face, a drawer alarm, which is kind of cool for kids, 
um, a box monster, which looks pretty fun. That was on the outside of the box. You need a box cutter, tape, foam balls, box and construction paper. A bristle bot. For that, you need the basics, rubber bands, fuzzy balls, cardboard, a toothbrush, and pipe cleaners. And then you kind of end up with something like this. And then you can do a buzzy dance. Um, a bubble flute. Wow, which looks really cool too. You need a box cutter, duct tape, rubber bands, bubble solution, a plastic cup, and a ruler. So it looks like there's something that could interest almost any kid in here. My, um, I have a boy and a girl who are a little young for this. They're six and seven, but I can see them getting excited about completely different projects, but also wanting to work together on some of these too. Like I know my daughter who's six uh, would go crazy if she could actually, if um, we could figure out how to make the bubble flute together and use it. And then uh, my son has always liked funny monsters. So I think this bristle bot would uh, he'd get a kick out of that and the box monster. But going back, the last project in the book is Playful Pet. And then you, um, it's, this is also kind of cool that kids can upload their projects after, their, after they create them and have them work. And then it shows here that online will show you how to make this great piggy bank too. So that's neat. Then to get to the actual unboxing and show you what's in here, I'm going to keep this open, this part of the book open for reference so we can see all the different modules that are in here, but we can start with the, so move that a little bit back here, have a nine volt battery and the cord. And I believe those are needed for every single module that is made. And then we start with this one. This looks to me like the power P1. Oh, it is. It says it right on there. That's neat too. So you can see in this module, it says P1 power. So they're easy to identify. And then this one is I16 pulse. There we go. Pulse I16. And I wonder if there's, oh, there's more here. Can we do this? No. How about instead we do this? Let me move the box off to the side. Okay. Then there's a slide dimmer, which is here. So it says it right here. I5 slide dimmer, just like on the page. And then moving on, there is a pressure sensor. I-11, very easy to see. Sound trigger I-20, is that this one? Nope, this is the I-19 roller switch. That one is this. Oh, look at that, those two just snapped together on their own. Okay, then Sound trigger. I'm betting it's this one. Yes, I-20 sound trigger. Then we have a W-2 branch. And W-1 wire out, two of those. So those two are snapped and connected here. So you must need both of those for um, the modules that you do. We have, this one is, 04 vibration motor and oh, this one is 02 long LED one is the A or O13 fan. And we have the O2, oh, another long LED. So this is the same as the one that was here. S servo motor 011. Yep, 011 servo. Oh, one, one, I believe it is. And then 
this little bag. Open that up. Let's see what's in there. These are all the servo accessories. So a couple great arms to help you in your projects. Use a Phillips screwdriver to change the arms. The screwdriver is not included, then it looks like the screw is probably in the motor. Or if it's not, then we'll have to track down a screw. The oh, I believe the screw is not included because this, there is a I'm not sure about that. So there's standard two standard screwdrivers. And we also have more um, W1 wire out and W1 wire in. There's the other one back here. Let me put those together. And then the Vibe Snap A17. You'll find this little guy attached to your vibration motor. So the vibration motor is here. It's green and the vibe snap is this part so the vibe snap is already attached to the motor so for a second I was wondering if we were missing a piece but now I know that it was already attached all right I'm just gonna take a second and get these all lined up neatly so you can see everything that's included in the little bits premium kit so I'll be back in just a minute I'm back this is everything that's included in the Little Bits Premium Kit, all laid out so you can see all the contents. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty amazed that you can make over 600,000 circuit combinations with just the items that are right here before us. And I wanted to note as I was working on getting these all um, laid out and displayed for you, uh, I found that the magnets are pretty strong because I was nudging them together and they hardly needed any sort of um, contact or before they actually slid together on their own. So I think that's really nice because um, then uh, kids or adults who might not have the fine motor skills or might have problems doing those really precise tasks of fitting, um, fitting something together won't have that frustration while they're making their really cool projects. I just think that's really great. So um, fine motor skills is not an absolute necessity for using the Little Bits kit. So be sure to visit www.babysavers.com to find out more about Little Bits and also to um, uh, see more of the projects that we're making. And finally, look below or um, right on the screen here and you'll be given a link so you can um, get your own Little Bits premium kit and find out about all the other Little Bits products that are available to buy. Thank you very much.